Hey guys, Eric here, and I want to share with you today some videos that I found myself when I was training for a fight. This is some really high intensity but low impact training, and uh, I want to share it with you guys because I want you to know that there's options for anybody that may have uh, age or weight challenges, joint issues. Um, that there's exercises that you can do that are high intensity that will get your heart rate uh, uh, really up there that are not going to be uh, damaging on your joints. They're going to be lower impact. So let me share with you what I'm doing here. I'm doing interval trainings, uh, sometimes referred to as Tabata trainings that were invented originally for Olympic speed skaters. And uh, ironically, I learned this when I was in Canada and uh, it was from an Olympic uh, rowing team member. Um, so we always did these interval trainings to push our cardiovascular system. In this video, I also happen to be wearing a uh, altitude mask. And uh, what it's designed to do is limit my oxygen intake to make it more difficult for me to breathe. Uh, so that means I'm actually receiving less oxygen as I'm doing these exercises, having to breathe harder, work out my chest and my lungs, and it forces my body, it prompts it to produce more oxygen carrying red blood cells and to increase my ability to uh, produce oxygen in situations like this when I'm fighting and training without the mask. So, uh, but the mask is not really the topic. now. I've got the ropes here that I'm doing some side to side, I'm doing some big slams, I'm doing some uh, uh, little waves, um, all different exercises. I change it up so that way it keeps it exciting. I recommend that you have two or three different uh, activities that you do in your circuit if you're going to do some of these um, interval trainings um, because it's going to keep it exciting for you. Now then I move on to the ladder. I've got 20 seconds work, 10 seconds break, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds break. Um, and I have different stepping routines that I do on the ladder as well. The idea for both of these is to keep the movements as fast as you can do it correctly. And you have to do it smooth but fast. And you have to put a lot of effort into it. Um, now the idea be behind 20 seconds work and 10 seconds break is that um, uh, you're pushing your heart rate as high as it can go. As high as it can go and only giving it a little bit of rest. Um, now there's two different types of trainings. Uh, there's high intensity training, high intensity interval training, and then there's moderate intensity continuous training, such as running, swimming, riding bikes, things like that, uh, where you may not necessarily push your heart rate to its max, or most people don't, and they don't do it on a regular basis. Something like the activities that I'm doing are designed to push the, uh, the heart rate to the max, or up in that zone, uh, in a short period of time. So you want to make sure you do a really good warm-up get your joints, your muscles, and your heart all warmed up before you get into any kind of the high intensity trainings. Fortunately with these low impact ones you have a lot less lower uh, a lot lower risk of uh, having any kind of a joint injury or having any kind of a pulled muscle due to not warming up properly. Um, and also due to doing heavy activities such as CrossFit such as uh, slam and weights around. Uh, this is a lot less impact. Um, the high intensity training outside of improving your cardiovascular and, uh, system and your ability to recover in, in, a, uh, in a competition after a short burst, things like that, it's obviously going to get you into a fat burning zone. It's going to get you shredded. It's going to also do these medical facts. It lowers insulin resistance. It improves your blood vessel function. And you also see greater improvements in your oxygen uptake and utilization versus just moderate intensity continuous training like jogging, or running or something like that. So um, I wanted to share these exercises with you guys. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, during this time right here in this video, I was actually at 155 pounds, 70 kilos, and I had a fight in Australia. So this video was shot in Sydney, um, training with a couple other partners that was, uh, another guy was fighting for a title that night. So um, uh, hopefully you can use these exercises that we use in martial arts to push ourselves and to increase our abilities. If you have better endurance, better cardiovascular uh, uh, health and things like that, then it's going to increase your ability to uh, get healthier, get more shredded, get stronger, and get more powerful in other areas of your life simply because your body is able to handle the work and able to produce the results for you faster and better. Um, if you enjoy the video, Hit like, subscribe, share the video, and check out our link down below. If you got a comment or suggestion, please drop it by. And otherwise, have a good one. Thanks for watching.